War is inevitable. I got caught in some janky mirror freezes today. I don't want to talk about it. You've made the right choice. That was so good. That was so satisfying to watch. I'm a bastard cub! Why didn't the sailors play cards? Because the Admiral was standing on the deck. I'm a wizard! Green Mom, get the camera! Split push. Victory is ours! Howdy, folks. Welcome to episode 63 of Split Push Podcast. I'm your host, Dirt Naps Dad. Which I am now, Dirt Naps Dad, really, because I'm on PC and I got enough gems to change my name to Dirt Naps Dad. So high five. It costs Along with gems. me here today, friends, family, internet friends. First up, it's Beagle Girl. Why, hello. Smiling and nodding. What, am I cutting out again? That's that was record. probably the worst intro. <laughs> Next up, then, on the list is Yuki. What's up? We got my good buddy, Guy. What's up, everybody? We got my oldest and wisest child, (laughs) Dan. Yeah, I mean, saying that I'm the wisest is A, insulting Beagle, B, not setting the bar very high. But what's up, guys? How you doing? (laughs) Uh, no, we're off to such a great start. You've all heard this man mentioned before here on the podcast. You may have heard him mentioned as Yuri. You may have heard him mentioned as Lucille. Sometimes he's mentioned as mumblings under people's breath after they get ganked in the jungle. But it's my good buddy who I call Yuki. No, yes, <laughs> yes. There it is. Oh my God. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> yeah, my so how you God, doing? Yuri, Lucille. I'm good, and how are you all tonight? <laughs> International man of mystery. Yes, it is. He is finally on the show here. Oh, well, we figured after he got weaselled his way onto our team that we might as well bring him onto the show. For wow. Weaseled. We needed round, someone right? that was good. Weasel. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, someone had to backpack us, and we knew Lucille could do it. Hey, you're all, all doing right, the well, backpacking, not me. I don't know about that. I've seen Last some of your jungle Last night he was games. the one doing the back snoring. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Yuri. Yeah. We're doing the back. How many times have you been been banned out all four bands from the enemy team? Oh God! Right. Don't remind me. <laughs> I've, I've, I've literally had to start learning other stuff just because of that. Well, yeah. before we get too sure. far into our games here, uh, Yuri, Lucille. Um, why don't you tell the little podcast world here a little bit about right, yourself? Before we go any farther forward, we just need to call him Yuri from now on. That's <laughs> yes. his damn name. <laughs> Should I change it to okay. Yuri Lucille? <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> well, anyway, go ahead and tell the crowd about yourself. Go ahead, go ahead. Guy won't interrupt you this time. <laughs> well, I'm 27. I'm just your average gamer. I work at Walmart. If there's a new game that I really enjoy, I always pick it up. Like, tomorrow there's a good game coming out that I'm looking forward to. But every once in a while, I always go back to old games that I've played. And I always have fun playing old games. He comes back to Smite every now and then for us. What was the last hiatus? Six months? (laughs) (laughs) It was a good little one, actually. You sound so excited when you said you work at Walmart. (laughs) (laughs) Or we're just going to have to leave that alone. (laughs) <laughs> I feel you, bud. I used to work there. Ah, uh, shit. So, yeah. Well, hey, I know Beagle was kind of chomping at the bits here to talk about games of the week. So, well, how's how they been going, Beags? Don't call me that. And the Beags. Damn. The Beags. Do not start that again. I thought we were talk over this. Child. All right. Well, go ahead. Talk about your games. Um, me and Dan are gods at assault. So is Lucille too. Today, um, yeah, me sh- and Beagle played like I don't know, probably fifteen assaults in the past two days. I think we only lost one game, and that was today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, mm. and it was later today. Like it was all in one stretch. It was beautiful. Yeah. 
It was gorgeous. Um, I shouldn't be allowed to play Bacchus. I shouldn't be allowed to play Hercules. Uh, who else? <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to play Smite, honestly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> Me, I, I don't know. I had, I got Hercules. I wasn't paying attention. The game started. I looked up. Hmm, Hercules. All right. And I ran. I pressed W and didn't stop. <laughs> That's an amazing yeah. story. Beagle. Is she sitting like is. a mile from I, her mic? Like, okay. Beagle. It's, how far are you from your mic right now? Not very far at all. Why? I think it's her connection, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know, just, it always seems to struggle. We haven't had any problems since we moved the modem, and everything seems to be going no, great. I, I was then... commenting more on her volume. Yeah, yeah I think she's sitting too far. It's literally right in front of me. <laughs> Put it in your face. Talk okay, I will. You don't want that. Do you know who I literally am? Literally just Press hold it. it in your hands and pretend Press you're a like reporter. Press it like from <laughs> Supernatural. All right, everybody. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Edit that out, please. <laughs> so, outside of Herc, you said you were just running at people, holding that W key in? Oh, yeah. This older one and something? All right, come here. Up, push, and I just, I got one. He's back here. And he was a free kill. I, I went like 8, 1, and however many, just basically however many kills our entire team had, because I was always there. Just plucking, pushing. Kill him. She that. didn't steal any pentacles. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah, you we'll know, I could have stole one from Dan, but I didn't. She wasn't That's on you. Right. Welcome. That's I right. Dirt nap penta again, baby. On the PC. Doesn't matter where you put me, where I'm playing, or who I'm playing, baby. I'm grabbing them pentas up. Really? Because yeah. I'm in your dueling lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's mostly an assault, bro. <laughs> Dude, honestly, if you get a pentakill outside of Assault and Arena, congrats. Because... Even Bashan respects us in Assault. Right? <laughs> assault me. I love be... Assault. Wait, he okay. seriously respects our Jow skills so much. Or, uh, Assault skill. I'm about to say, I don't even play Jow's. I mean, maybe you guys do, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, Dan, you know what? I want to see you get a penta and Joust. I know you can do it. <laughs> I bet you twenty bucks that I could manage. So there like, should if be a I trophy for Joust that. For like a couple weeks, maybe, maybe even a week, specifically aiming for that, I would be able to do it. I think you technically can get one if you. If you, they you, come you, up in time. Yeah, there's like no way I can't, right? Like if I stagger it just perfectly right in the early game where they have short cooldowns. And they ha and you have to be doing it between their Phoenix and Tower, and they have to run right at you. But I think you. Can oh yeah, it. like I have to find. The fucking Wood Five Division idiots that'll do it, but you well, know. Let me let me key in on my pentakill this week. So that's right, Dirtnap's dad on PC doing a little solo practice in the old arena. Oh, we're so proud of and you! And I got on the Cernanos, <clears throat> and the enemy team had some good players on it and some new players on it. Not going to lie about that, but the teams were actually fairly even because their real good player was the, their Zeus. And let's just say he had the Zeus juice. <laughs> as good as I did, he still out damaged me by like 12,000 or so. And uh, I was at like 44. He was at like 50s in the high 50s. And I was like, Jesus Christ, you know, like, man. But I got a triple kill at one point in the game and, and looked for that Penta, but it just didn't quite happen at that point in time. A little bit later, I learned how to count to three in, in French again uh, as I hit a triple kill. And this time I seen Zeus like, um, I'm leaving the area and heading back to Fountain at full health after I just dropped my kit. And I dashed right up to him, dropped my alt on him, made short work of him. And then I'm just like, there's four. I just heard quadra kill in French and understood that. And I'm just like, where's number five? And then. I I don't know if this is actually what happened, but it seemed like it did. It seemed like Neath, from behind me, backflipped and landed right in front of me. And I'm just like, number five. And it was. It was just bam, bam, bam. She was down and dead. There's the pentakill. The, the French announcer packs going off, all you know, all kinds of, 
ooh la la shit. I don't know what the hell he's saying. And I'm just like, I need to back off. I need to back off and jump up and down. I didn't even see the two two idiots coming right out of fountain. I could have followed up with two more kills and, and picked up three. But as it was, I was happy just getting my five. Hell but, yeah. Hell yeah. You know what? It is not easy to do no matter the mood, no matter the skill level. It's always... There's so many things that go into it, so getting pentakills should always be cherished, and I do cherish yeah. that one. I wonder if I'm the only one. I was I've been in a couple arenas where my team just gets wiped, and like I'll just walk up to the person who just got the quadra kill and just be like, "Kill me, get your penta, <laughs> take your penta." Oh, hell no. <laughs> hell yeah, no, I've kinda, never done that. I make take that for penta, him. boy. Uh, if anything, if anything, I'll give him an honorable duel and I'll try to kick his ass. <laughs> But I, I and, and I've, I've only the two times I remember the two times I've done this. It was because we were like super ahead, and someone just got the lucky four. And I'm like, all right, this isn't really going to affect the game. It's like they get their pen kill. I go twenty two and four. Everybody, everybody's fine. They <laughs> make their fine. feel feel bad because you fed it to them. They were they thinking in mind, back of their mind. <laughs> oh no, no, they'll still global kill. emote scream, "Mom, get the camera!" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it, it was a good time, though. I, I'll tell you, I do feel like I am starting to come into my own with PC. Uh, and there was one point where I was definitely on teams that were better players. And I was playing as Kukulkan. I love Kukulkan in the arena. And I had some good players. And next thing I know, I'm just like, all right, you know, I'm 5-0. and All right, now I'm 7-0. and and then, you know, I kind of forgot about it for a while. And then the game ended. I'm like, did I? Like, yes, I did. I went 9 and 0. I was pretty proud of it. And not only did I go 9 and 0, I also had a nice, big old chunk of top damage dad gone. Didn't get as many kills as I would have because I had a Zeus and a Loki on my team. <laughs> and they were kind of picking them off, but. Yeah, you know, in the end, it it was it was good times. It was good times, you know, fun stuff, you know. But yeah, no, I've been having a lot of fun with it. You know, it's I feel like it's starting to click, and you know, just looking forward to continuing it on, and just hopefully someday I still get that bridge back to PS4 Island so I can get all my shit. Yeah, you know, okay. just like over time, you'll just forget about PlayStation Four. Honestly, yeah, yeah. It's just natural. Forget about what. I turn yes, I turn mine on to watch the Netflix because I'm too lazy to connect. <laughs> right. Yeah, I turn mine on to watch the YouTube so I don't have to get more ads. Only I got you guys beat. I turn mine on. I don't even turn the TV on. I turn mine on just to charge my headphones. Same though. There to my headphones and the, and the computer to the headphones. Wow. It's my you know, glorified charging station. I think I could beat that. See, I, I oh, turn mine on to go. Wait, where's my HDMI switch? Eh, whatever. Turn it back off. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I wouldn't even turn mine on if I, I connected mean, my TV to my computer, but I'm lazy. Mm. What'd you I say, would, But you get more ads on I would on rather YouTube not forget about my PS4 account just because I spent so freaking much money that I... Yeah, I know you've still been working on yours diligently. I didn't, even, I didn't even complete the last Battle Pass, but this new one I'm definitely completing because I want all those games. I mean, I'll complete and it here. No, that Harris skin looks really nice. Yeah. I've been extended an offer from a mysterious benefactor, so I might complete this one as well. <laughs> I'm just happy that I'm playing PC at a somewhat competent level. I'm a god on PC. Don't let me play PC. <laughs> Your controls still make me want to cringe into my grave. But, Dude, but it works for me. When I played yep. a game after playing on PC with them for so long, I couldn't hit a single ability. I couldn't hit a basic. It was, it was not, it was not fun. It was, it was bad. not good. To be fair, it, Beagle, yeah, you bet. definitely play better on PC. I do. Like I don't know why, because half the time I'm like, "What buttons am mm. I pressing anymore?" I don't even know. <laughs> there are times uh, where I'm still like, "Am I even on WASD anymore?" <laughs> yeah. I get that. There's still times where I'm just like, I'm okay. your mirror, and I just throw a wall up where for why? Here's <laughs> what? my thing. <laughs> Sorry, guys. When I'm, like, pressing, say, like, I see that my freeze on your mirror is about to come back up, so I start running at them, and it takes longer than I expected, but I still just can't stop, so I have to just turn around and just, like, 
I'm so weird with my buttons. Like, I have to be holding W to, like, use an ability, I guess. I don't yeah, know. I, had some, I got caught in some janky mirror freezes today. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, we curved Dude, this Amir, I swear, could rotate his cone. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, like he would, he he froze me, and I'm I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, I can picture your targeter. There's no way. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's like he was rotating it <laughs> so that he could perfectly get us both on the edges or some shit. Yeah, I, of I, the way I would, he was I would agree with that, except that they weren't playing that good. Yeah, exactly. It was just like, what the fuck, luck kind of half-ass bullshit is this? Yeah, 360 no scope. Pretty much, dude. Pretty much. Honestly. It kind of felt like a 360 no scope because it was just bullshit luck. <laughs> but then we killed him immediately after that freeze. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun too. <laughs> I was playing Rama, and apparently, after Dirt Nap's dad told me to play Rama one time, I don't miss basics as Rama, I found out. So. Rama's really strong. Yeah. And I can now sometimes hit the snipe, but people that dodge better than others are still a pain in the ass. Yeah. Just stand still and let me see how much damage I can do. God. All of you the might damage. die. You might die, but it's a quick back. Just get some potions or something. Get some po Get good. Grab a ward. <laughs> oh, yeah, you never did get to see that. I need to go clip that for you, Dan, where I, uh, the Neath was trying to target you with the ult. I used the Rama ult, and I just dropped yeah. all three shots on her, killing her. <laughs> yeah. I oh, did. I love when Neath's going Actually, to their uh, ult. At, like, the wrong position. I'm like, there's, like, four people around you, Neath. What are you doing? I'm just going to CC, you know. I did a sexy Rexy ROM alt the other day, kind of by accident. I, like, there was two or three people below me, and I was just like, bro, I'm just going to spin around and shoot because I'm never going to actually hit who I want to or whatever. And I ended up killing somebody. <laughs> so I was like, all right. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That's cool. I think somebody used a big ability below me, and I just managed to get the last hit on, like, the second biggest circle, and I was like, alright, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> right? Man. I deserve it. <laughs> talk about crazy shit. I want to talk, talk about crazy shit, Arthurian items. Oh, we we'll get there, but uh, I, w I just want to... Apparently, the one time nobody, nobody spectated one of our matches, the Bacchus Belly Flop Fire Giant Steel... That was right? so oh. good. That was so oh, satisfying yeah, to that. watch. You know, it's insane to me oh. that we haven't talked about this in an episode yet, because you're right, we played it the day after we recorded. Yep. True. I know. Oh my god. The hype is all coming back. We want our first <laughs> set. We want our first <laughs> set. Oh. That w. oh my goodness. That that was a turning point. They're on it. We're like, shit, they're on fire giant. I'm like, all right, I'm going. I'm gonna go place a ward. I see it. Okay, they're on it. It's going down. Guys, I'm going in. Flop Are of you, Destiny? It's like, I'm going in. I gotta at least try to steal it. And they're like, I don't know, man. Stolen. I was With like, the belly flop. I was like, uh, I don't know. Maybe try and like flop on them so they can't secure yeah, it. And me hold, but them. he was like just straight flopping it, dude. And he took it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I that think we turned that into a winning point. team fight, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we did. We cleared them off with that, too. Yep. So and took a bunch was... of towers. What was fun about that was is Dirt Map's mom and I were up at, at camp and I was hoping to spectate the game, but it wasn't one that was being done live. And um, so I'm like, Beagle, text me updates. Okay, hold up, <laughs> she hold up. Started hold up. Texting. You asked me one question, I answered, and then I gave you the rest of the game. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, te text me some updates. Next thing I know, I'm getting play by play detailed text <laughs> messages. I'm like, <laughs> Well, Dude, I was complain. sitting back there jumping up and down with my phone, okay? When I saw you guys pushing Titan, I was behind Dan just silently dancing, texting Dad. <laughs> it's 100% true, because I could see your shadow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just, it was crazy. I, I feel like the last two... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I do have to say, I am sorry, Camberlin. I did not... <laughs> Poor Camberlin. <laughs> it was you just farmed her for XP. It was just one of those, oh, she's by herself. Okay, she's dead. Bye. Yep. <laughs> Pele, man. She's just a weird god. Oh, god. I don't yeah. like her. I love her. And Pele is one of my favorites. That's her, why so. <laughs> yeah, there, were, there were definitely a couple turning points in that match. The other one was the mid-Phoenix defense. That yep, was huge. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I knew before that game even started, I knew that you guys were going to win that. I don't know how. I just I felt it. You guys were going to win that. And I it was, was right. Yeah. 
Like Jormungandr was second to like second to last pick. Yeah, yeah that's right. Like, and he built the, their their builds on the solo and support. Kind of really made the game way more difficult for them than they needed it to be. They built like um, this pseudo selfish tanky bruiser. Uh, I mean, and I was like a hunter with Xe Kids, so I was just blowing through them. Well, oh, the I mean, Emperor's armor that gave us a lot of problems to begin with. Yeah, until once we realized they pushing on us so armor. hard. Yeah, and then that's, that's when I pointed that out, and Yuki bought it, which even the level field for us. Yeah. Right. And it was a good item for us in the end too, because then it enabled us to push better as well. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know if I'd pick it up on the regs because it was just a counter build. Yeah, right. yeah, I would right, say it's right. a counter item, especially if we're behind, we could pick it up. But if we're winning, yeah. we don't need to pick I mean, it up it, necessarily. It's, it's good, cheap physical defense. And yeah, health, and it has health. And health, yeah, yeah. Oh, they played, they played really well. First yeah. game, they really steamrolled us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that first oh game. My God. <laughs> mm, it was rough. I could, I could still feel the Kraken. <laughs> I still oh, I see. Kaylin that's the thing, man. Poseidon it's just like sick. Poseidon oh. is so fucking hard to deal with. There's not enough relics in the world. Yeah, right. I'd I be just... buying like I just want to buy relic dagger on every fucking god so I can <laughs> aegis when there's a P Poseidon. I don't think there's enough health, defense, or relics for a Poseidon. <laughs> I know when we play Guile crack in the tank and it'll go down as soon as it's down it's dead like cuz we're all beating on it but still that Kraken did all the work. Yeah. Especially when you're sending them down into a Kraken from a niche all. Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Guy, you should be proud of me. I forgot to mention this. I played Poseidon the game before you joined and I beat a Freya. Fight me. Nice. There you go. Beating up a Freya is not always easy. No, Freya. Freya well, she did I, 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 just, I just played aggressive, really. That's, I just played aggressive and just kicked her butt and made her fall behind. Yeah, I froze the wave on her a few times, too. <laughs> she sat under tower, so I just sat there with my arms crossed. <laughs> just like, I can sit here yeah. all day. But, yeah, yeah. That's definitely a good thing. And it's I don't definitely think definitely she realized what I was doing. I don't, like... There are people who don't understand that. She's like, what are they doing? She's like, you're losing XP. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fun there are stuff, people who man. don't get hey, that. It's, it's the little things that matter. I mean, even if you freeze the wave and they only miss one or two creeps. That's that shit adds that up. Every wave? Yeah. yeah. They still missed one or two creeps, and now you're ahead a little bit. Yep. That shit's worth it. Yeah, we played really well. We had uh, actually Herd came in and subbed because Zombie oh. lost his power that night. <laughs> Poor Zombie. <laughs> Poor Zombie. <laughs> Andy did it. Yeah. Okay, hold up. I just wondered why yeah. you guys all stopped talking. My earbud fell out and I didn't even feel it. And I'm just like, hello. The voice is in my head stopped. Oh, my headphones fell out. Her earbud <laughs> fell out. I have oh, okay. one. I just heard her only... ear fell out. No, I don't. Okay, these ear PlayStation fell out. earbuds. Hold on, I can't see. It only has one. I don't know why, but it only has one, and it fell out, and I didn't feel it fall out. So I'm sitting here like, "Hello, uh, what happened?" <laughs> oh jeez, am I lagging? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I froze or something. I R L lag. I tell you what, though, I wish I, I really wish I could have watched your guys first win, but you know. Like I said, Beagle did a great job with with the texting. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm maybe we'll put screenshots in. Yeah. A, maybe we'll put screenshots of her texts. In. Oh, I will. I <laughs> will give you screenshots. I will. For the game. I will sit here and take them right now, and I will post them on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> well, if this they, is the play by play for the GPS uh, split push win. If they this didn't is all delete got. it, there's still the vod off of Cumberland's channel yeah, yeah that yeah. is true you might be able to catch it from her perspective from over there it's I, so I long there's gonna be uh, so you'll many. just catch a lot of lightning there's so <laughs> many definitely definitely felt good to get our first win yeah definitely sam we got a game tonight right after podcast yeah yeah let's follow it up yeah so wish us luck game wish Ooh, us luck man. even though we are already uh we've already won but yeah that's I mean... fine wish us luck anyway <laughs> <laughs> ah shit. So anyway, what other any other games we uh experiences we want to throw out there this week yet? Okay, yeah, hold on. I have one. Oh, really, Dan? Everyone yeah. run. Uh okay, so 
last night while me and Beagle were doing our um assault destruction tournament, uh I played Tear, right? <laughs> and it was just me and Beagle. It was just me and Beagle against, you know, three randoms versus five. Okay. I built Pestilence, Magi's Cloak, Relic Dagger, Breastplate of Valor, Brawler's Bead Stick, and Pride Win. Okay. So I was the overlord of this game. Okay. Tears Nothing coming. happened without me being involved. I would just blink behind and push, dash, heal. Stit, switch, you know, like I had all the cooldown I needed. I had blink up 40 seconds faster than usual. I had the bubble cloak to get away from all their bullshit. And I was soloing Anubis. I was soloing Hades. I was soloing Scylla. I was doing anything I needed to win. And when I first looked at this team, I was like, bro, this is such a hard team to play tier into because Hades fear, Anubis rap, Scylla cripple. Vomit all, and I don't know who the hell that little tiny icon is, actually. <laughs> but uh, it was a really rough team, and I just made it work, dude. And it was so much fun. It was awesome. I just got to point out, could they have made the Contagion defense item any uglier? <laughs> like, anybody got a look? It's, it's fugly, bro. Well, no. it's supposed to scare the healing out of them. Fucking scare something <laughs> out of me, It's Jesus. supposed to be foul. It reduces healing in the area, you know? Speaking Ugh. of Contagion, I did go 12-3 and three as full tank Thanatos in Assault. That was hilarious. All you gotta do is hit every stinker, bro, and you, you're just massive. Doesn't 23. matter what happens. 23 screenshots. <laughs> okay, That's all, though. I'm good. So, I, I, I gotta... <laughs> so, tears push. Like, if you ult in his tier and you have Pride went on, and they also yeah. spelled it wrong in Smite. It should have been P R Y D W E and not P R I D E W E. But whatever. <laughs> um, by the time you've ulted and st and done your push, so you, that Pride Wind detonates while they're still in your combo. Oh uh, yeah, if you stick on them uh, with the red two as well, and then just like basic them twice, it does pop. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I use that to kill many people. Actually, one time specifically, Anubis started ulting me, so I ulted straight at him and landed on top of him with zero HP, by the way, I landed. But the shield was so big, I survived, killed him, and it popped for the kill. Like, the shield for Pride Win or whatever. Jeez. I had to laugh at you guys. You were trying to win that game of Conquest before your scrim. And you were kicking their butts. You had like all the phoenixes down, but that damn Nike and that damn shield. Oh <laughs> yeah, I all. was. I had twenty two kills as Kernanos, but that Nike wouldn't let me end the fucking game. Yeah, wow, Contagious actually they got such a good item. It is a really good item. God, it's ugly though. Jesus Christ, I can't mm -hmm. look at it. Uh, Just look at the stats. That was funny. You guys ended up having to surrender and give them the, the win because right. it was like already. Past time. And we yeah. still waited another 10, 15 minutes for the team showed up. Yeah, anyway, yeah, we, we could have finished played. that game. I am never taking time to wait again. I'm yeah, taking well, that W. I thought I thought you guys had someone in the Discord and like shit was you know ready to go. And That's because Glacier whatnot, didn't but... know where his team was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that he had slowly, really slowly slid past them. Come on, Glacier, you get your boys under control. <laughs> you gotta teach them how to make lobbies. Yeah, anyway. Keep them you gotta tell ice. them how to make lobbies. <laughs> Eight bands, come on. You gotta that, do the conquest draft. That whole night was fucking hilarious. It was. Oh, no, we missed a trade. They missed a trade. <laughs> yep, we had to restart blind pick like three times. <laughs> but hey, now we're gonna do that weekly, so the carnival continues. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, We're glad nice. to be a part of that little oh, deal. Speaking with of the Glacier's carnival, team. Bastion told me I could play off wash tonight. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Oh, Look for snap. that. Look for Guy popping off on his boy. Will there be an Alp Wash story in episode 64? Depends on the draft. Episode 64. It depends on how many bodies explode that night. Oh, God. I forgot about the fucking. Oh, my God. Anyways. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This goes out after, so we can say it. Staff of fucking Mirrodin. Fucking. Oh, yeah. Old <laughs> one, one, two. GG. Yep. There, Guy, there you is... could build a mantle and pride win. <laughs> and just live through every <laughs> alt. <laughs> <laughs> just drop your alt and fucking literally W key at people. <laughs> that would be oh. so funny. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just Take remember, me away to something more serious, please. <laughs> just remember, <laughs> there is down. a second in between the body, like the cooldown from the staff. Oh yeah, yeah. But as oh. lo- but as long as he hits, as long as he you know sees the animation before he gets the detonate, he's fine. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I'll be fine. Don't worry, yeah, I'll just how, pull how him back it? into it with Susan. Though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It slows how? him anyways. I mean, it. They're not. Oh yeah, yeah. It slows, and uh, you know his ult. It'll be scaring the shit out of him, probably slowing him too. I don't fucking know. <laughs> we did an watch things. Speaking How about of- that, uh, the Morgan stuff you were doing there, Gary? Ooh. Yeah, we. I, I was. Ooh. Me and Dan were sitting there. We were talking about it, and this is one of the things that I've been looking at because I'm kind of one of those theory crafters. I'm like, so. Because Morgan, when she transforms, it basically gives her a whole item set for that person. Does that mean you can double proc it? And one of my thoughts was, could you proc the staff off of Morgan, so switch over to a mage and be like, oh, here, I can double cast an ultimate. Or would you be able to use the ultimate off of them and then double cast an ability off of them? And that's kind of how it works, is you switch to them, use the ultimate, then you can double cast whatever ability you want. Then when you go back to Morgan, you can double cast another ability off of Morgan's kit. Yeah. So, so if you're yeah, like super low, you can have double stealth item. out and put two clones right. out so they have no fucking clue yeah. what's going on. So, so what you do is, if they have a Morgan and you're the Morgan and they pick up Staff of Meriden and you pick up Staff of Meriden, you ult, turn to the Morgan, you full uh, uh, you kit, you ult, you turn to the Morgan. <laughs> Can that <laughs> wait? How long do you think that cycle could go? Oh, um, make an infinite, three. infinite loop. <laughs> no, well, you, sadly, I, I think you the, can't. I think the cooldown timers would, would throw that off. Maybe, that would be hilarious. but changing into them again maybe might change that off. We might have to investigate. We might have to investigate two Morgans ulting into each other. Unfortunately, uh, you cannot transform into another the Morgan. I uh, see. I didn't know that because I don't play the fucking Morgan because he's trash. Boo. Yeah, whenever <laughs> you fight another Morgan, it literally takes off one dot, so you can only pick between the last eight people standing. Oh, that's a bummer. Morgan's really good if you're not a... Oh, yeah. I just... Am not awful walking with the so, so bad. Yeah, uh, we, we hadn't practiced that one, so yeah. I don't. I can understand why that didn't go perfectly. <laughs> yeah, that did not go. That probably wasn't the first... That probably wasn't the best idea the first time pick. Uh, Actually, no, I was that. working on my Morgan. I felt really yeah, conf- yeah. confident with her, but that that Poseidon just shut me down. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I mean, also, uh, Morgan ulting Poseidon doesn't work too hot because you, you have to build your meter up to get full damage. Right. Yeah. It's more the knock-up and the the yeah, chaos yeah, from sure. it that yeah. was I was oh, going I for. But... But, I mean, my, it had a lot to do with that sort of kit getting like two early kills oh like within the first minute kid. and a half, yeah. two minutes. Yeah, uh, that was a big deal. But they knew they could pressure Morgan, that's why. Yeah. So, uh, how, how about our, our God of the Week here, boys? Uh, I have a few games of the week, if you don't mind. Go for it. There <laughs> you go. Well, the first one, I was playing Clash not too long ago before Dan got online. And I was playing what? Rama. Cla- Clash? What's that? <laughs> well, I was, I was just doing it to mess around. And when I was playing Rama, I'm like, I'm just going to stay over here in right lane because no one's coming over here. I look up, I'm like, wait, I'm level 18. The closest person is 14? What? Okay. Solo farm. I'm just watching left lane. They're all fighting. And I'm just like, Oh, that person's low. Go into Rama ult, snipe them, get a kill, go back, take tower, and we kind of just it kept <laughs> rotating that way. They all moved to right lane, so I moved to left lane, took left tower, ulted over, killed two people. 
And it was just constantly, I was out of nowhere, just ult and killed two people. Because they oh, weren't expecting I, it. Jeez. That's something I haven't thought of. It clashes a riot with our reset ELO on these accounts. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that. I yeah. like that thought process. <laughs> you guys remember that time that I went, like, fucking 32 and something as oh, who was that was that hercules well, or was it odin uh, fast odin here. odin i will say remember i had like 32 kills that game as full damage odin the only bad thing is is that you would think that it wouldn't reset your elo well it does but not many people play clash so you get stuck against people that like playing clash it hurts yeah, that's true <laughs> it hurts and then for for one magical the, game. Then the other match I queued into an assault. And this was before Dan got on. I'm sitting there. I've got Pele. And the person <laughs> wanted to trade Arachne for Pele. I'm like, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll give you Pele. I'll take Arachne. The moment I got Arachne, reroll. I get yep. Kepri. They rerolled Pele and got another tank. Oh, jeez. We ended up <laughs> walking at them with Kepri. Horus, Chalk, Susano, and Scotty. And this is in <laughs> this is into a Scylla, Hera, Raw, Giannis, and Arachne. <laughs> I'm just sitting there, okay. I'm gonna throw out the bubbles. Oh, I gotta kill. Okay. I'm gonna root someone. The moment that root went down, all you saw was five people on that one person. And you'd see me come in with the Kepri dash. Kill. I'm just sitting there like, wait, how did I get the kill? Dude, Kepri can steal so many cheeky kills. And yes, Kepri the hog bug, bro. And I ended up starting off with just Genji's guard because it's just like, well, I want to have cooldown for my ult. I saved our Horus and our Susano each one time. And then I ended up uh, going Shogun's, Stone of Binding, Stone of Fall. And last item I was working on, I, I don't remember what item I was working on. I was just sitting at Druid Stone, but I had full cooldown at that point. And we just got done with the match. And I'm like, Kepri is so much fun in Assault. Everyone on my team's just like, you played Kepri really amazing. And the next thing I know is I got this message that goes, you have a gift. And one of the people on our team on my team, sent me a gift saying, you rocked. And he actually told me that at the same time. And that was our Horus. That was the one time I saved the Horus. Hmm. That's awesome. I've sent a few gifts out over my over my days. Yeah, I think I have too, honestly. On PlayStation, there was that one mostly. time where, like, two people on my team were just, like, sitting in Fountain and Arena. It was just three of us. But the three of us put up a hell of a fight. And the other team, when it got down to the last minions coming in, they surrendered and gave 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 my team the win. Oh, I'm just like, yeah. I gave them all a gift. I'm like, I don't care. High five. I appreciated that, you know, because, damn, I was fighting my ass off in that game. I just don't get why people do that at times, man. Dude, just play the game. Stop being a baby. Dirt Nap Dads, tip of the week. Just, just don't play. be an infant. <laughs> Even if you're getting your face pushed in, just enjoy. The, take what you're fighting, learn from it, and evolve from that. Don't just give up. Just keep going with it and learn. That's all there is to it. You're never going to get better if you keep quitting. Yeah, yeah, and like you know, hold on, real quick. Like if you keep dying from the same thing. Just wait for them to do that thing before you go in. Are we talking about that? Magical bots? tip of the day. Oh god, magical fucking... tip of the day. Are like, fucking literally, I've seen people bots. like just die on cooldown to an Aries support because they just walk into their face, get chained three times, and die. And it's like, dude, just wait till he chains someone else or misses, and then you can go do what you would need to do, like clear the minions or yeah, whatever. That, that is like, very important. Relax. You don't need well, to hyper clear just to die over and over. You, you'll get your farm eventually. Another thing not to do is if you're playing, you know, like a non-tank character, 
you don't run into the middle of the enemy team and then yell at your teammates for being horrible. I was, we were in this arena and it was just me and our Vulcan. He didn't disconnect. He just stood in the fountain all the time and then he disconnected. Then he came back and continued to stand there. So it was a four, four V five, like the whole game. And our one mage just would run in. And I was just like, dude, we got like, we're all half health or going back to fountain and you're fighting at their portal when none of us were even remotely close to that side of the map. And then, you know, at the end of the game, you know, the chat pops up and, and he starts mouthing off and I'm just like, <laughs> this is funny. You know, and then someone on the other team's like, dude, don't worry about him. He was on our team uh, last match and blamed us all for being horrible too. It's just like, oh no, I get it. Yeah, I see it all. Oh, hey, by the way, check out Split Push Podcast. And then I, 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 I shot out of there. <laughs> man, that's like our, our Hoombots in an arena just before we uh, came here to record, man. Freaking, like, telling us what to do and then goes 0 and 12 walking at five people. <laughs> And that was even after I stopped and typed and said, what the hell are you doing, by the way? <laughs> and he just kept charging. <laughs> and it's just like away his credit card. <sighs> That's what we should call feeders, credit cards, because they just keep charging. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's uh, just like they got We got that, credit you know, carded yesterday. <laughs> I got that W key just taped down. All right. Only taped down? I'm going to start asking people, bro, is your W key broken? Because you keep walking at them. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes it's just... what. Sometimes it's like, how don't you learn? How don't you learn not to walk at five people? I mean, you know, we don't... No matter how new you are, what says five big red scary bars when you only have one little green bar says that's a good idea? I guess I, I didn't, like... He was frustrating. I was like, what the fuck is going on? But I don't know if you noticed, I like, specifically wasn't like trashing him or anything because, like, we don't play enough arena. He could be very new. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. still. But the thing that kind of dissuaded me from that thought was the fact that he was buying the entire Arthurian item tree. Hmm. Like, I don't know. The no boots, though. Hey, Dan, how about when you were uh, trying to win that match I was talking about earlier and you're running down the lane like, all right, let's just drive right down and do this. Halfway there, fuck, I didn't buy my speed potion. I got no boots, no nothing. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I was like, bro, oh, my God, I forgot to buy speed pot. Whatever. He, I just started like, dashing on cooldown. <laughs> I'm like, I'm coming, boys. I'm like, hey, what the hell are you doing? Like, oh, I got you. Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What? What happened? Hello? Hello? What happened? Hello? Are you okay, Dan? Uh-oh. Uh, my headphones are... Dan's breaking. dying. <laughs> Help, I fall and I can't get up. As long as you're recording, we don't care. They're back. They're back. Yeah, you just keep talking. Just talk louder. I can hear you from downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're good. We're good. I can hear Talk through the cat door. We should probably move on. <laughs> you guys need to get like a string and can system. Yeah. <laughs> we got to move on. Oh, we're going back to those old times. I can help yeah, with that. Yeah. <laughs> got a pair sitting uh, in the closet uh, over there. Ah, uh, shit. It's all right. It's all right. We're having good times. I know. Good I'm times. Just keeping track of the time. One what hour time is it? till scream. Yeah, I'll call on its next side, so. Yeah. All right. Well, let's move on to this week's session of progression, where we're going to talk about the often banned, because Yuri popped off on him a few too many times, Mr. Al Kwong. So, Yuki, you know the drill. What's the lore? Al Kwong's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, why is it that every guy it? starts off with Okay. That? I no. believe I watched a cartoon one time. He is definitely a dick. <laughs> the wrong kind of cartoon. Um, so, <laughs> Al Kwong's not really a dick, but he plays a pretty big lore 
role in a lot of Chinese mythology. So we'll kind of go down the uh, timeline of shenanigans here. Uh, but we'll start off, uh, he's the king of the Eastern Ocean and is also the uh, uh, head honcho over his brothers uh, that are known as the Long Long Dragon Kings. Uh, they're the rulers of the different seas. And he's kind of just, you know, the dude in charge of the other dudes that are in charge of the water dudes. <laughs> gotcha. Um, he's known what? in Chinese mythology to have a very majestic presence, um, very kind of regal and, and aloof in how he deals with things. Even though people are always like bumming him for a favor, like, and, and you'll see why. Um, so one of the crazier requests that he got came from uh, an architect in mythology known as Luban, uh, who wanted to borrow the entire palace. <laughs> Al Kong's entire palace for a blueprint. Um, hmm. and, and Can I just borrow that? I'll give it right back. <laughs> just borrow my castle? Nah, no, bro. And then, um, of course, uh, when uh, Sun Wukong, the stone monkey, the monkey king born from a stone, uh, was looking for a sweet weapon, uh, he, he goes, yo, I heard Al Kong, that dragon's got some pretty sweet, sweet shit up in there. Uh, <laughs> and it's like, all right, so they they do their thing. Al Kwong's chilling, and uh, uh, and and uh, blue brain. Nah. So Al Kwong is just nah, 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 nah. yeah. Al Kwong is chilling, chilling, and uh, Sun Wukong is like, "Hey, that's a pretty sweet uh stick you got going over there." Uh, this is in uh, Al Kwong is where uh, fuck the goddamn Chinese names run one into the other. Um, <laughs> Sun Wukong. Uh, it was like a pretty sweet staff. Al Kong's like, well, if you can pick it up, I mean, sure. And Sun Wukong's like, all right, it's only 13,000 pounds. It's, it's only been down here for fucking ever. Like, Al Kong couldn't get rid of the damn thing because nobody, including him, could pick it up. And uh, Al Kong's like, I guess it's not so bad because it, you know, it's taken up his entire treasury. And that's where it comes in. Uh, they don't show it in Smite because they need the weapon for the animations and everything because, you know, it's a combat game uh but typically the 13,000 pound cudgel think about that 13,000 pounds it's only a dozen tons um well, someone's been eating too much mcdonald's yeah no shit um so i need to call hercules yeah he he stores it behind his ears most of the time wukong does so um <laughs> and then you know because we can't have a perfectly good story where just shenanigans go and people are bumming him for shit and he's like i'm cool uh him and him and you know uh, Sun Wukong kind of get into it. He complains to the Jan Emperor a few times. They finally become frenemies, you know, and off we go. Uh, and then, unfortunately for Al Kong, uh, his son and heir of the uh, Eastern Ocean, there, uh, Al Bing, uh, was killed by Naja. Huh? Keep that in mind. Naja done did in Al Kong's kid. Um, Al uh, Naja was supposed to be killing, you know, demons. And not dragons and his bad. Alcon gets pissed off, you know, and they kind of Alcon's like, "Fuck this shit, I'm coming for you." And then Naja kicks his ass too because why not? And but instead of uh, instead of Naja killing Alcon, he's like, "You can live, but you have to be a blue snake forever." So until this day, Alcon is a blue snake instead of a giant pimp ass dragon because Al Kwong. Poor Al Kwong. <laughs> right. Um, so he is the, you know, the, the God of the seas and the oceans. Uh, he's not really, but he's also a little blue snake. He's also a little blue snake. Hiss, hiss. I bite you. I swear. So, um, there's no, we don't really know of any festivals tied to him or anything like that. Uh, kind of got lost in a time, but, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of the other prominent, Characters in Chinese mytholo Chinese mythology kind of run to Al Kuang at some point in time. All right, I guess we're gonna move on to his abilities. Far away. Right. His passive Dragon King Sword. Every twenty seconds, Al Kuang gets a stack of Dragon King Sword. With the stack available, his next non-ultimate ability that deals damage to an enemy god has a reduced cooldown and heals Al Kuang. Successfully executing an enemy god with King of the Eastern Seas fully charges Dragon King's sword. The cooldown reduction is 2 seconds, the heal is 5% of maximum health, 
the max stacks is 3, and the ability type is passive. His first ability, Water Illusion. Al Kuang teleports forward into stealth, leaving behind a watery form of himself. He remains in stealth for 5 seconds or until he attacks or takes damage. Al Kuang may activate this ability again to detonate the watery form, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Um, when you pop the watery form, it also reveals you. It doesn't say that. Uh, the damage is 70 to 270 plus 60% of your magical power. Uh, the range is 30. Radius on the ability for the pop is 20. Cooldown 15 seconds. Cost 70 mana. Second ability is a dragon call. Al Kuang summons six dragons to his sides. For every basic, for every successful basic attack Al Kuang makes, a dragon will dive to the target, dealing additional damage. This ability ends after all dragons are used, or after 10 seconds. Al Kuang may activate this ability again to send forward any remaining dragons in a ranged attack. The dragons damage and slow the first enemy they hit. Um, attack damage is 30 to 90 plus 30% of your physical power per hit. The ranged throw is 20 to 40 plus 13% of your magical power per dragon. And the slow is 20% for one second plus 2.5 seconds per dragon. 0.25 seconds? Yes, 0.25 <laughs> seconds per remaining dragon. <laughs> So if you throw four, you get an extra second. Um, the range is 55, the cooldown is 15 to 11, the cost is 60, scaling to 80. His third ability, Wild Storm, Al Kuang releases a storm of lightning from his sword, damaging all enemies in front of him. This hit will send a dragon form from Dragon's Call forth, dealing damage to hit targets. Damage is 90 to 270, plus 40% of your magical power. The range is 30, the cooldown is 9 seconds, and the cost is 60 to 80 mana. And his ultimate that everybody fucking hates. Um, Al Kuang grabs a single target, damaging and knocking them into the air. If the target is below a health threshold, Al Kuang will also reveal his true form, becoming an airborne dragon and executing them, restoring health. After transforming, Al Kuang then picks a new location to land, dealing damage to enemies within 20 units. This ability has a cast range of 17. And uh, the execute can be avoided by cleansing the knockup effect uh, in the first place. So that's something to keep in mind for support players in Chiron and Hell. Uh, damage is 90 to 290 plus 50% of your magical power if you're not executed. If you are, the execute percentage threshold is 30% at all ranks. The heal scales up from 10 to 30%. Landing damage is 100 to 300 plus 50% of your magical power. The landing range from your uh, execute position is 200 units, and the cooldown is 90 seconds with an ability mana cost of 90 to 130. Yay! Also, you, you, you missed, and this is kind of crazy. Uh, if you hit someone with all six dragons, the dragon from Dragon's Call, the two... With auto attacks, it does a it does a maximum of two hundred and ten to five hundred and seventy plus one hundred and eighty percent of your magical power. How did I fuck? How did I miss that? <laughs> I was reading all of those and I was like, oh, yeah. okay. And I'm then if you this. hit them, right. if if you if you uh, fire off the the two afterwards, shooting all six dragons, it will do one twenty to two forty plus seventy eight percent. It does, and the fact that like this is one of the only in hand effects that for an auto attack that doesn't go away whether you hit or miss. Right. Because Medusa 1, if you miss, you miss, it, it, it doesn't stay. Right, right, for sure. That is why wack. he's the Dragon King. Yeah. Yep. He's freaking whack. Dude. Fucking alcohol. So how do you play him? Let's so tell why else why everybody bans Al Kuang in our league games. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the thing about Al Kuang is I've seen a lot of people, and I know this is how they do it, but this is how I've always been doing it. I always do start with the Wild Storm first, but I always level the Dragon Call to max immediately. Because if you if you know how to count the numbers and your attacks as fast as you can, you if you watch their health and watch the dragons, you can time your ultimate perfectly that when that last dragon hits, you'll knock them up at the same time and it's immediate execute. Yeah, through an animation cancel. 
Correct. Yeah, because it happened. The execute happens halfway through the knockup. Yeah, and there's been times where if you have too much attack speed, you'll start attacking them, and then you'll go to knock them up. As they're going up in the air, you'll see that last dragon go up, kill them, and you'll just go up there, and you're like, "Oh, they're already dead." <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I wasted my ultimate again. <laughs> Ouch. I have done that multiple times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it happens for sure. The other thing is, and a lot of I notice a lot of people don't do this, and it's because you always use it to go for stealth in, but if you can get into a fight without using your water illusion, which you'll never... It, most of the time you won't, but if you ever do get in without using it... You can always use the water illusion as an extra damage ability. Because most people are like, eh, it doesn't hit for much. Yes, it does. Oh, it hits for a good amount, and it's an AoE. So you can hit two, three, and you can even kill minions with this. And it's really good with the radius. Yeah, I've seen a lot of really good Aquang players. Like, uh, they don't, like, try to execute you right away. They'll try to do the... Uh... The one first, just to see if it'll kill you, because it's worth saving your alt for a different kill. You know, why why waste it ever if you can just get the kill, right? Yeah. So he'll be invisible and faster than you anyway, so whatever. He'll get you. But uh, the one, I've seen Alquang players, they just, they come in, they three, they hit their two, they three you, and hit you a couple times and one away. And before they, before you even die... He's walking away and you die because his dragons are still hitting you from a mile away because they're still like chained to you from his basics that are hitting so fast. And that's one uh, one of the other things is dragon call. You can hit them a few times. You can turn around, dash away, blow up the dash. And as you're walking away, you'll just hear kill because that last dragon will go to them and still kill them. Yeah. Your dragons will still hit for as many basics as you hit. It doesn't matter if you teleport away and stuff. Now, if you have to chase someone down to execute them, you can always use your dragon call to slow them so you can get to them faster. Right. That's another thing that you can do. And, and I see a lot of bad Alquangs, like, waste their last dragon or two, and it's like, bro, throw it. Never let the dragons go to waste. Even if you have to throw it at a minion, throw it at the minion. Honestly, throw it at a wall. If if it's if nothing's happening and you're just leaving them up, you're wasting cooldown time. Yeah, because it does not go on cooldown until after that last dragon is done. That's the same thing with his watery form, ain't it? Yeah. Yep, same thing with that. That's another bad Alquang thing is if you don't need to stealth away and you just need to get away, teleport, pop it right away. Like, if you're teleporting under your tower, per se, and then you're just going to go back into your jungle, why waste being stealthed? Like, they know you're going to do that. You're the jungler. Yep. So just pop it right away, get it on cooldown, so if they chase you, it's coming up when they get to you again. And one of the things is if you're playing against a good group and you have a team that you can rely on, if you can find a person that is giving your team the trouble, like the carry in the back, wait until the engagement starts, just slide right in through invisible, <laughs> and just murder them. Yeah, you don't always like have to just fight the first person that pops in, even though you are Al Kwong and could do it. Because <laughs> yeah, Al Kwong always... just eats anybody alive, honestly, full build. Yeah, just taking a taking a, a damage dealer out of the fight's a big deal. So what uh what items do you like on the Quang these days? Well, most of the time I always get Telekines first, which is the one to reduce their magical defense every time you Demonic hit them. Demonic grip, you mean. Yep. Then Actually, wait, no, let me rephrase that. First off, I start with the T1 for um, Bancroft's because life steal is a big thing for Al Kwong. If mm -hmm. if he does not get a sustain from Bancroft's, you might as well just not, you just might as well stand there in the lane and let them kill you. That's a yeah, big thing that for Al Yeah, that sustain keeps you alive while you're boxing. The uh, yeah. uh, the other thing is, and this is where you can opt to go straight into the rings, or you can 
if you don't feel like you're comfortable with the rings, you can always start with Shoes of the Magi. There's the extra penetration, there's the extra damage, and there's your movement speed. The uh, Telekines, like I said earlier, it's good for shredding more protection. That's demonic grip, though. Telekines is the power yeah. based proc. One. Oh, okay. Sorry, I get yeah. those backwards a lot. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, it happens. Have you ever so, heard me with sovereignty I was and heartwood? At first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and uh, dirt have dad with left and right. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> go left. Everyone goes right. Literally everyone, because we know he's being dumb. <laughs> but yeah, basically both of those rings are essential to Alquang. Telekines and Demonic Grip, because mm -hmm. you're always autoing, you're always in close range, you're always doing something with melee, and those two are the best on him. From there, you, if you feel like you're lacking survivability, Typhoon's Fang. If you want to hit them harder, and you want to shred them faster, go with Soul Reaver. But, uh... Yeah. Usually, lifesteal attack speed are phenomenal on Alquang. Like I said earlier. And if you feel like you can't get into a fight, pick up a bubble dress, then try again. Yeah. Alquang's one of those ones that early game, if you get shut down, you gotta farm. Don't, don't look for a fight. If you get fed, just find look your for targets. Every fight. <laughs> yeah. Look for every fight. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> Just walk into their jungle, and as camps come up, kill them, and as the people come to take their camps, kill them too. <laughs> but Alquang is one of those ones that you have to play smart, you have to play safe, you have to play aggressive when you can. Yeah, every power spike you should go look to be aggressive, but when you're in any sort of form behind, you should look to stay re-aggressive and only engage when there's like a half health target that you could pretty easily execute or something and get away. Because otherwise, you're going to go in, you're going to get CC'd like one time, and you're going to be not ahead enough to handle all the damage that comes out, and you'll get soloed or killed by a whole team before you can get your execute off, and then you're just useless then, obviously, because you're dead. Or one of my favorite that I've seen is, oh, there's two people on Gold Fury. One of them's almost dead. The other one's tanking. You pop the pop an ult, the one that was on the Gold Fury, the Gold Fury bops the other one and kills him. <laughs> yep, and that's another thing. If you're having if your team is having trouble with one person, don't be afraid to use that ult to get rid of that one person out of the fight for two seconds, because that two seconds is time for your team to turn around, kill people, and then that person lands and they go, Oh crap. <laughs> Baby Naja ult. Yeah, actually, it is yeah. kind of like a baby nausea ult, where you can just kind of reset the fight and set the person that's ahead out for, like, just a second for your team to reposition, and then they can all just blow an ability on them at the same time, and they will be out of the fight at that point. Yeah. True. It's kind of like a combination of uh, Nijaw's ult, or, if you really want to get think about it, uh, Kumbakarna's ult. Yeah. Except without or the Freya knock. Whoop. There's definitely times I do those, Kumba, like, you know, I just need to take this guy out of the fight for a couple seconds, and that's huge. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, if Kumba ulting the tank is what you need to get to the back line, that's what you do to get to the back line, you know? But if you can get to the back line and disrupt it with that, that would be more optimal, so you could just walk past the front line. <laughs> <laughs> and so, if, if you ever do get an execute, before you land... You have time to look around, look to see what's going on. You can call stuff from up there and let people know what's going on. Or if you see a hot gank going down in one of your side lanes, you could jump halfway across the map and be there to help your teammate in instantly if you're in mid. Or if you're in I solo, go to mid. I remember one of my favorite Alquan games I played back when I jungled a lot on PS4 was like, I felt like literally every time I left base, I went to one lane assassinated or executed somebody and then like jumped to another lane killed someone walked into the jungle took all of it and then just executed back to another lane like it was so much fun yeah, that's that's where alquang shines because if you get those executes you have free mobility you can cover map instantly and yeah that's if what an scares alquang people. gets to execute in right lane he could be in left lane 
way before you would ever expect it if you don't know about it. Yep. So speaking of how do we, uh, besides hiding in, in, in base and refusing to come out till you can surrender at 10 minutes, how do you, how do you play against Alquam? Well, the biggest thing, if you can get a team that can shut him down early, and that's heavy CC, heavy mobility, CC immune abilities, like Ravana is a good one to stop Alquang. Another person, Kumba Karna. The, the non-stop CCs will shut down an Alquang because he has to get in melee. If he can't get in melee, he's toast. Yeah. Yeah, and he's not CC immune except for the animation for his ult. Correct. And don't be afraid to pick up like on your support or your solo laner like a witch blade so that he doesn't have as much attack speed if he's not building the ring so that he can't get the dragons off. Yeah. That's... Or even if he is building the ring, sorry. And if if you're a hunter and you see him coming, one of the things you should do is get to safe distance because if he gets on top of you and you can't get away, he's gonna get ya. If you can stay away from him and shoot him from a range, he's basically a pin cushion. Yeah, and and beads because you can beads the ult. Yeah, uh, and Aegis, you can Aegis the ult too. Uh, if you're below threshold, you'll get ulted. Nope. No, it's you, it's Thanatos that you can only be or you can. No, only no, no. Be. If you Aegis when an Alquang attaches to you, it it delinks too. Yeah, because technically yeah, it's, it's different for different people. Yeah, it's really fucking annoying how crazy different it is, but it is true. If you Aegis and Alquang all before he hits you, it will cancel it. Yeah, because it's hey, it's can um I go Achilles. off topic for a moment. Uh, Don't you usually? Yeah, I say what's stopping you any other time? Well, I was just thinking the other night, like someone we were talking about relics, and you know that it's kind of dumb that we have uh, you know Odin Cage and. There's one relic that's designed to get you out of Odin Cage. Like, sure, it work, could work against Kabrakin too, technically, but. And Ymir. Wh- and what, what, and if, Ganesh. what if that relic, whatever the hell it's called, uh, what, I can't even Phantom think of it. Phantom Veil. Phantom Veil. What if that also allowed you to see invisible gods? Just I, a thought I had. That would actually make sense, too, with the wording Phantom Veil. Oh. Right? Actually, what if, mm-hmm. actually, if you change it, what if Phantom Veil made everyone invisible so they couldn't see you? No, 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 no. Don't say I'll take the other way. Too far. Too far. <laughs> you don't went too far. <laughs> too like, far. That's, Ooh, that's wait, a where con- did the entire team come from? Great. That's, that's a conversation we've been having forever, and it's usually because Loki's bullshit. Um, <laughs> Loki, no- Alquang, it's the Morrigan for me now. It's like Are I can't even go just- into my jungle to put a ward down because Morrigan's going oh, to be God, there, invisible. Yeah. You just see teams like buying five man Phantom Veils. To be honest. Yeah. But seriously, I, I think if it if it could if you could use that to uh maybe upgrading you know, it gives you stealth vision. Yeah. Yeah. yeah something area. like I just you know, something that makes that relic work a little bit more. It also, you know, not that I see a lot of Loki, but someday they're they might fix him and make him more competitive. But actually I'm seeing more of him now because I'm at low levels of ELO and shit. It's like, oh, oh I kind of forgot this guy was in the game, but so I don't know. anyway, that was just my little interruption and off-topic thought for the day. I think there should be a ward for stealth, but yeah, well, I, I wouldn't that... even be mad if it only saw stealth targets. Like fuck, <laughs> I just yeah, put it on top of my last lane. Night Scram was rough. My goodness, full invisible yeah. team. Let's go. Uh, I mean, why not? Fuck, I could apparently uh, you know play Loki. The meme cough. team. I'm surprised you didn't talk about that game, Dan. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, yeah. We should talk about that game. Since we're off topic real quick, how how did your Loki game go, Dan? I went 13-4 and 17. Good old salt throwing you in the roll. Hey, I needed to get my inner filth out. I was getting dirty. I can't talk to you anymore. I know. know. (laughs) Love me from a distance. What's your favorite skin there, Yuri? Hands down, Admiral. Really? Yes, I agree with that. Admiral. Well, uh, it's just the because Admiral the skin. best voice line from the Admiral skin is when you yeah. go to kill a Kuzinbo. Turtles don't belong in the air. Yeah. <laughs> I like, the I like here, nice kitty, game. kitty, kitty. Yeah. Too bad we'll never what? get that one. What, Dan? 
when he kills Bastet in his execute, he goes here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've, I've actually seen it a few times now that we've been playing on crossplay. Or yeah. better yet, whenever you kill a Poseidon. My God, guys, we got a Kraken, lads. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a lot of interaction, voice on interactions, actually. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite skin for him, Yuki? Clockwork. Clockwork, eh. I don't know, I'm I'm in agreement with Yuri here. Yeah, it's it's all because of the dragon. The dragon's pimp as fuck. I was thinking more along mm -hmm. the lines of it's because it was the blue hair for Admiral too. Dude, I love any skin that has, like, blue or purple hair, okay? <laughs> blue or purple hair and Beagle is in. Yep. <laughs> like, I remember, like, back when I first started playing, ooh, this Bologna recolor has purple hair, I want it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. And then, it, and then, the, and then they, they didn't duplicate it where it had red hair, and me, me and Beagle are like, hell yeah. Yes. Um. Also, mm. like, the new Hell skin, the, like, punk rock one thing. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that skin just because of the hair. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I like purple hair. But I wouldn't ever dye my own hair purple. All purple, at least. <laughs> I've dyed it before, but I wouldn't dye all of my hair purple at once. You wouldn't dye all of your hair? Mm, probably no, not. You'd cray cray. I would go with sky blue hair any day. <laughs> I, just realized I would how, be gorgeous. I don't know what you guys are saying. I don't. Al Kong's passive has been changed like a thousand times. Yeah, it kind of threw me off when I came back after the six month hiatus that the sword no longer got the power up from the executes. That threw me off for a while. Yeah. Yeah, but what about the one before that? The really fucking weird one. Uh, which one was that one? Uh, Al Kong's sword can hold up to three energy charges and regenerates charges while his sword is sheathed. Each time Al Kong casts an ability, an energy charge will be consumed if available, increasing the damage of the ability. If Al Kong is out of mana, he will use energy charges to cast abilities instead. Okay, that one was... I remember that. That one was fun because... Uh, oh my god, you could stay in a little bit longer to get those extra kills. <laughs> yeah, that was... Yeah, they never really, like... You never saw those are the only, his passive the only thing that really gets changed. Is his passive the most reworked so far? Most most reworked passive? Um mm. that's probably. an interesting trivia question. Um I would I would have to think so cuz I don't people's passives usually don't change unless they get a full kit rework. Yeah, because I think it's changed. Community top community topic <laughs> who has the most reworked passive, right? You let us know, because we don't know, <laughs> even though we might know, but we just don't know for sure. We don't know that Bo we show. don't know that we don't know. Mm hmm Bo show. All right, lads and lasses. Well, you guys got a game coming up here, so we're going to wrap up. Yeah, maybe just a tad early here this week. You know, we'll see how we go. A lot of times we're like, all right, let's wrap up. Let's say goodbye. Yeah, 20 minutes later. <laughs> 20 minutes later. <laughs> right. But right. Uh, anyway, so... Let's allow our guest to go first here, uh, Yuri, I mean, Lucille, or whatever you're going by these days. How can people <laughs> track you down out there in the... the Sometimes smoke, junglers in the save me! <laughs> <laughs> you can always get a hold of me through my Twitch at Lucille92, which has a link to my Twitter, which is Lucille1. Uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Steam are all Lucille92. Kind of just like my smite name, which is Lucio92. And that's really it I have. Yep, and you do stream a, a, a fair amount of, of shit for us, you know. So if you definitely want to catch a little bit more of the split push uh, going ons, you can uh, catch us often. The comedic on. plays that we don't get to show off. Yeah. Of split push. Of split I felt push so good on, after that gotta, steal. Uh, we're in a salt tournament this Saturday. Night. Yes, we do. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, we're already getting I'm off so topic excited. on goodbyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but that is important. There is a the salt gyms, tournament. So. And you know what? There is something else I want to throw out real quick. I was watching Weekin the other night. Dirt and I was mom <laughs> was kind of relaxing, chilling, doing some, you know, watching some videos. I'm watching some Twitch. And he's playing Ares Jungle, which is a thing. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, it is. Dude, he comes up into this team fight. He's like, all right, attack, attack. 
Someone's coming out of the jungle and he totally whiffs on the chain. And he's like, oh my God, I'm ass. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he tries to alt them and comes down, turns around, goes down to two health. But somehow manages to get around the corner and to the backside of the tower and teleport home to safety. Mm -hmm. I did get a clip of that. Very jungle is fun. <laughs> Durnab's dad is dying. Yeah, it, it's fine. It, it, yeah, that Aries jungle is fine. I think it's they it look pretty cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. But uh, Yuki, how can people get a hold of you? You can find me on the Twitterverse at Ryukuts a underscore Yuki. You can find me on the PC at Yuki Gaming Twenty Two. And PlayStation's a thing, guys. Did you know that? Nah, I kind of forgot. Oh, okay. What, what game did we play on there? Fortnite? Diablo. How old is that know. system? ESO. That's what I it was. Still, I still haven't spent any money on Right, Yuki, that's, that's what it was. ESO. You never played. Hey, I played some. <laughs> Get on my level, bro. I don't have PlayStation <laughs> Plus, bro. Yeah, not my problem. Damn, Damn where can they get a hold of Sony's you? Now. Dan. 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 What? Dan. Dan. Wow. How can people get a hold of you? Dan. Who yeah. said it? Dan. I was waiting. What? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I was taking a hit of my vape and you guys caught me <sighs> off. All right. You can find me on the PC continent of crossplay at Dirtnap Dan. You can find me on Twitter at on the official Split Push Twitter at Split Push Podcast with no A. And, uh, yeah, PlayStation, I'm not going to be on. Unless I'm watching YouTube. Sorry. That's all there is to it. No. It's just all there is to mm -hmm. it, man. Sad clown. Mm-hmm. And er, er, insert sad clown music here. Yep. Oh, <laughs> gotta go get the violin for that? <laughs> the world's <laughs> tiniest one. <laughs> but anyway, Beagle, how about yourself? Um, you can find me on Twitter at Beagle underscore Girl 27. Um, I haven't been playing on PS4 as often, but I do plan on sticking around on PS4 because I wasted way too much money to actually just forget about that account. <laughs> <laughs> so you can find me on PlayStation at Beagle underscore Girl 2780. And you could also, again, find me on PC at Beagle Girl 27. Probably playing with these feeders. I mean, people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it nerds. happens, but. <laughs> and who we got left? Guy? Okay, you can find me on Twitter at G Smitey. You can find me on the cross platforms on Guy All Smitey. And don't worry about the PlayStation because you won't see me on there. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Unless I drag him yeah. over there for Monster Hunter. That's a yeah. donation request. No, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty rough seas between PlayStation Island and the main cross platform continent. You really once we made it across, it's like, all right, we're all still alive, let's just stay here. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, you're saving I'm... me all kinds of money. Like all kind at least twenty five dollars a week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, PlayStation. I appreciate it. Hey, it. I really do. Hey, as captain of this hey. ship, I say we're not turning around. More trips That's to the right. store for oh. me. <laughs> I was just going to say that. I'm like, uh, more trips to the store for Guy. He'll be back in four hours. <laughs> Wait, Dave, we got a little baggie to shake. And also, if you hop into our Discord, which is a good thing to do, there's a, a lot of activity going on there. A lot more people uh, chiming and chiming about getting some games together or some scrims and whatnot. But you'll also notice there's a voice channel for Guy's store. And if he's sitting in it, He'll be back in a few hours. <laughs> yep. Yep. Probably a That's few hours. Yeah, really I come back and I'm like dragging. Maybe into a few. It room. might like, take every time he goes AFK. We just drag him in there. Like, yeah. nope, he's at the damn store, guy. He's like, All right, forever. I'm gonna go cook dinner. I'll be back. Play like a game or two without me. Five hours later. <laughs> so, and That's why there's right, quotation marks around the grocery <laughs> store. All right. oh. And last up, but not least. It is good old Dirt Naps Dad, which is exactly how you can find me on the cross platforms. Now it's just Dirt Naps Dad. No, no underscores or, or whatnots. So there I am. I am now on PC and you can find me there. 
on Twitter. I am still with the underscores. So it's dirt underscore naps underscore dad. And you can hit me up over there uh, on my uh, pinned on the Twitter. I got links to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe for us. It really helps us out, and we appreciate that. Even if you listen to us on other platforms, just hop over and give us a subscribe. Yeah. You know, don't have to click the yeah. bell for notifications. But <laughs> what yeah. yeah, what they said. Yeah. 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 Everyone's yeah. Yeah. Everyone Make sure yeah. you follow us on SoundCloud or iTunes or wherever the hell you're listening to us. Give us, you know, the, the positive feedback button there give us the good notifications clicks. the good vibes you know give it's us all the, about good the good clicks vibes. bro yeah you know, those hot clicks um, we are on yep. podcast republic now too because it just we finally showed up one, in one of my searches nice awesome. so hey we're spreading like a virus oh lord yeah contagious, <laughs> baby. it's just like that but, contagion um, arbor wait what yeah, what <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, good tie back to smite there <laughs> we're, we're about as ugly <laughs> But hey, Aww. now that I got us over a, a, an hour 20, I'm feeling pretty good about us going ahead and, and getting out. I'll probably edit it down to under our hour 20. But hey, high fives. When it comes to dirt naps, remember, you got to give them before you take them. And when all else fails, blame dad. Yes. Wait, split split push. Push. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> oh, Love you, American. Blame wow. the carry. Wait, what? Uh. <laughs> Why have I never thought of that before? <laughs>